Hi everybody, welcome back again, nice to see you. Trust you, everything is going well with you. Uh, day 24, uh, Saturday the 30th of May 2020. My birthday as I say. I uh, hope you like my new jumper. A friend of mine bought this for me. Very pleased with it. So I thought I'd show it off. Um, I'm interrupting what I said I would do uh, yesterday. I said I would do the Holy Spirit. So I begin to think about the Holy Spirit today. Uh, but I just uh, just realised that I've not done uh, anything on the devil really. So I need to just make sure you're comfortable where the devil fits in to everything before I introduce you anything more deeply into the spiritual realm. So we know where we're to put him and we don't need to get him fussed all over our lives, you know, because he wants to do that. Um, and just to say that when I was um, uh, 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 reasonably early on in my Christian life, as I was growing up and trying to I've told you about Watchman Nee, haven't I? He was influential. Well, he wrote a book called The Spiritual Man. It's about this thick. And, uh, and I bought it. And when I looked at it, um, I realised that if I read that book, it would end up with me getting involved with demons. And I mean to confront demons, uh, as Jesus did, of course. Um, you know, and was I sure I wanted to do that? Would I be able, would I be okay doing that? Uh, so it took me about 10 days to pluck up courage to, yes, I have to do it, and to start reading it. Um, and the, the issue is, will we have the truth or not? Or will we be held back and cowed? So no, no, we're, this is the truth. And so we want to get as much of this truth into our lives as we, as we know how to. So we engage. So just a very quick overview of the spiritual realm um, that we don't see with our eyes. Um, God, of course, is the uncreated being. He has existed from, 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 from ever. There was no beginning for him. He has existed in this in these three persons, all in good relationship with each other for all of all of eternity. Uh, but then he, he so so then so then he create, started to create, and he created uh, angels. Uh, so there's um, uh, there's angels that are close that, that serve around the throne of God. There there's cherubim and seraphim, cherubim and seraphim. Angels is just, I think there's four of each of those, but it might just be that there's just four. Um, but um, they're, they're magnificent beings, you know, all angels are magnificent beings, you know, uh, but these guys are really, really magnificent beings. Um, so they're, they're right at the heart of, of where God is, in the, you know, where his throne is. Then underneath them, it's said that there are three archangels, uh, one's called Gabriel, um, one's called Michael, and one was called Lucifer, uh, or he's called Lucifer, I suppose. And um, he, um, you know, and then underneath, under the, after those three, there was ordinary angels, as we might call them, still spectacular beings. But you know, in comparison to the other guys, they're the third in the rank, if you want. Uh, but there was a rebellion. Lucifer decided he wanted to sit on the throne. <laughs> It's great up here, isn't it? I'll have the throne if I can. Uh, and of course, uh, no way could God countenance that. So he had to go and he was cast down onto the earth. And it's thought that a third of the angels that, that might have been allied with him came with him. Untold numbers of, of angels and, and, and demons are uh, unclean spirits. You can call it these lower angels uh, that relate to to. to, to to Lucifer, uh, demons are unclean spirits. Uh, we know um, Lucifer in terms of being called a serpent, or Satan, or the devil, or Beelzebub's another of his names, and then towards the end in Revelation he's, he's known as the dragon. Um, and there, there, there's a prophecy regarding his end, so he has an end. <laughs> He gets cast out properly, fully, uh, at the end, uh, when we get promoted to heaven, kind of thing. Um, so they're there. Just want to say that they're around, and so we know that. Just look at all the trouble in the world. Well, that's caused by man, but with the encouragement of Satan, with the encouragement of evil spirits all over the place. You know, a man might be bad to to number five. But with a little encouragement, we can get him to be back to number nine, can't we? You know what I mean? So that's what the angels do. They, they work very hard to, to, you know, to disparage God by, by, by despoiling us, is what their, their, their task and aim is. 
But then also there are these other the angels. We we think about angels. My wife would say she feels she was kept uh, by an angel from having a crash in a car once. You know, just on Turf Lane. It's quite miraculously she didn't crash when she closed her eyes. It was going to happen, you know. And then when she opened her eyes, it didn't. It hadn't happened. And she puts it down to the fact that an angel took care of her car that day. Um, but I also have seen angels. Um, you know, I've seen them with my physical eyes, just two streaks of silver across the sky. When I when I believed that God had told me that He would He would show me angels this morning, you know, and other other things also. So they're around, and we don't want to uh, be afraid. First time I saw, first time I had, I only had one vision of an angel, but and I thought it looked okay, and I was enjoying to look at it, and then I thought, oh, it's green. Mm. Should it be green? <laughs> and because it, I pulled back from it, you know. Um, but nevertheless, um, they're they're around to bless us, and we pray they will keep us safe when we're asleep at night, don't we? Along with God, who doesn't sleep either. So, <laughs> um, so, and and not to be afraid. The devil has, does not have a free hand to do what he wants, even though he is sometimes called and in, in scripture the God of this world. A lot of authority has been given to him, but he doesn't have a free hand. So, you know, the, the one who is God is God. And, and his spirit is around to, to keep us in, that, in his care as, as we walk through this life. You know, with this guy that wants to do bad if he can get at us. But he doesn't have a free hand. Okay, I'll leave it there. Uh, have, a, <laughs> have a very peaceful sleep this evening. Let the angels guide around your bed this evening, I pray. In Jesus' name. Amen.